Karunayas. Today we will be discussing editorials from the Hindu and India Express of 22nd of October 2022. So let's start with the editorial. I have taken this um, from the Hindu text and context and you can relate this article related with the coffee industry in India and the crisis the coffee industry is facing with General Studies Paper 1 that is Economic Geography and General Studies Paper 3 Indian Economy and Agriculture. So what the writer wants to say, first you need to know a little about the coffee. So basically there are two varieties of the coffee which are grown in India, Arabica and Robusta. The variety, the Arabica variety of coffee, coffee and we know that coffee is a tropical plant and, the co and coffee is derived from the coffee beans. Alright, so the Arabica variety of coffee does best in climates with temperature ranging from 73 to 82 degree Fahrenheit that is within the range of 23 to 28 degree Celsius with rainfall incidence between 60 and 80 inches. Alright, that means this is um, 150 to 200 centimeter followed by a dry period to 2 to 3 months. Robusta has a relative, relative humidity range of 80 to 90 percent while Arabica has a range of 70 to 80 percent. In India, shade loving coffee is grown. All right. And um, also Indian variety of coffee it is highly adaptable when it comes to the aroma, when it comes to the taste. Now we will discuss in this article what are the problems that the coffee industry is facing. So let's talk about the context of this article. Recently the torrential rain in the September has destroyed the, has destroyed majority of the crops or plantation of coffee in Karnataka. And this has raised a this has raised a debate around the coffee industry and the crisis that it is facing and the different challenges that the industry has. So in the coffee heartland of Karnataka, the small planters, they suffer huge losses during the month of July to September. The erratic conditions of the weather due to the climate change also, it breeds pests which destroys the crop. New, disease, new diseases emerges. The drastic change in the climate pattern over the last few years, it has adversely affected the Indian's coffee production and the quality of the crop, the production and the quality. In India, the production cost is high. So there are certain challenges which I will be taking out from this article. The production cost is high, the labor cost is high, the labor cost is high. Why? Because of the fact the majority of the workers who works in the coffee plantation in the southern states of India, they are migrant workers. And a planter, planter needs to needs to train and invest in those migrant workers in order to have them, in order to enable them to work in the coffee plantation. So that is the reason why the labor cost is high in India, the production cost is high. However, the production is low. And if we consider the India's post blossom estimate production, then it is it is somewhere approximately 393,400 metric ton. And given the conditions erat like erratic monsoon and climate change, it will be 30% lower. All right. Now let's talk about the Karnataka Plantation, uh, Planters Association. They reported that the fruit rot, stock rot, these are all the rot, it refers to the disease, and other irreparable damage due to the heavy rainfall and landslides, they have affected the crop. The berries have turned black and they have dropped. So that means the crop is damaged. The crop is damaged. Most of the growers of the coffee, they fear the frequently occurring ring pattern of drought and floods that could wipe the whole plantation. The, the, however, the study and weather resistant varieties could help. The mechanization also could help. However, given the, given the difficult terrain in India around the coffee plantation, mechanization and other technologies to be employed in the coffee industry would be either be costly and they will not be efficient enough. Let's talk about the issues um, 
that is faced is the cost of financing and debate debts. The volatility in the market prices that reduces the influence of the producer when it in the value change value chain which renders the coffee plantation an increasingly loss making proposition. The problem is aggravated by the climate change. More than 75% of the Indian coffee is exported. However, the challenge here is the Indian brand building. The challenge here is the Indian brand building. The cost of financing financing is the biggest of the challenges of the coffee sector. Most private banks they insist that growers provide collateral for financing. Please make it correct. Collateral for financing. So there is a difficulty in accessing finances for the coffee plantation. And the medium and small size growers, they are invariably not in a position to provide collateral. The interest rates are high, that is around 12%. Uh, and when it comes to the interest in uh, international interest rates, on the other hand, are negligible. This makes this makes our coffee costly in the international markets and the other coffee growing regions coffee becomes more competitive in the international market so this is the challenge which are which is the, which the coffee industry is facing now the the writer talks about that despite uh, several requests from the coffee associations there still the there has not been the loans have not been restructured there are high npas in the coffee industry and the growers they now face the recovery proceedings under the Surfice Act. The KPA, which is the Karnataka Planters Association, has also made a representation to the union government to exclude plantation from the provisions of the Surfice Act and also from the purview of the CIBIL, which is Credit Information Bureau India Limited. However, this step still has not been done. Low production, productivity and high cost of production. There is a low, there is low production, but the cost of production is all, is on the rise. If we compare India with that of the Brazil, Brazil, the labor charges account for 25% of the production cost. However, in India they are 65%. Like I said, high labor cost. Mechanization may bring down the cost, but India's topography and terrain limits that possibility. The shortage of labor is one problem. And the effort, time and energy which is needed to train the migrant labor is high. Now what is the way forward? What can be done? The first thing that the writer suggests is the branding. We need to build brand. India does have many brands which promotes coffee, Indian coffee in the international market. Still there is a lot to be done in order to make the Indian coffee competitive in the, in the international market. We have to promote the homegrown coffee. We have to promote the domestic consumption of the coffee. However, it will not be sufficient when it comes to increasing the demand for the coffee. However, this is something which could, which could be done. Intercropping of pepper and cardamom and exotic fruit variety can be done in order to recover the losses and in order to compensate for the losses by the small and marginal farmers, by the small and marginal planters. They can explore fish farming, dairy farming and green tourism in order to make the coffee planter, plantation as a profitable business. India's share in the global coffee market, it may be less than 5%, but the sector is hopeful that the Coffee Act and the new Coffee Promotion and Development Bill of 2022 will do away the 80-year-old coffee regulation and it will usher in new change. So about coffee we already discussed and these are some of the major coffee grown areas Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu and in some part of the northeastern also coffee is grown. However, the majority of the coffee is grown in the southern states of India and uh, two major variety that is Arabica and Robusta. All right. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching Tarunais. Have a nice day.